This program is similar to the previous one, only difference is that we are going to print all the prime numbers from the given range. So we'll be asking user to enter any number. Suppose user has entered 41, then the program will print all the prime numbers from 2 till 41. So our program will be for all the iterations from 2 till 41 and each number will be checked whether it is prime or not. And we know how to do that. We need to divide that number, assuming that number is let's say new n then we need to divide this number from 2 till new divided by 2 so this logic we have seen in the previous program so in the program we are asking user to enter n so that will be end of your range that is 41 will be stored inside of n then i'm initializing a variable as new n from 2 till new n less than or equal to n so this loop will be for iteration starting from 2 till 41 and in each iteration we are going to apply our core logic of of prime number that is to divide that number with 2 till new n divided by 2 that is till half range and to check whether number is divisible now because we are going to check multiple prime numbers in this program we cannot directly exit like we did in the previous program wherever we found that number is divisible because we are required to check multiple prime numbers so whenever we start checking for a number then i am maintaining a flag assuming that whenever flag is equal to 1 we are initially assuming that the number is prime and if during our operation the number gets divided then i am resetting flag to zero and i am breaking the for loop because whenever this condition gets true then there is no need of checking further numbers so i am terminating this for loop here using this break statement and in the next iteration we are again resetting value of flag to one and the same process will be continued so at the end of each iteration if flag is still one that means that none of the numbers were not able to divide new n hence that number is prime and we will simply print it let us assume that user has entered 5 as value of n then this for loop will be from 2 till 5 so 2 3 4 and 5 so 4 iterations so initially variable flag is initialized to 1 then this for loop will be executed from i equal to 2 till new divided by 2 that is 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 so condition will be 2 less than or equal to 1 which is a false condition so this inner for loop will not be executed at all and because flag is equal to equal to 1 new n will be printed on the screen so 2 will be printed so in the second iteration flag will be again set to 1 and for loop condition would be 3 less than or equal to 1 and for the inner for loop condition will be 2 less than or equal to 3 divided by 2 because these both are integer numbers the condition will be evaluated to 2 less than or equal to 1 which is again a false condition so this inner for loop will not be executed because flag is still equal to 1 so new n which is 3 in this case so 3 will be printed so for the next iteration new n will be incremented so new n is now 4 again the flag is initialized to 1 so now again i is initialized to 2 and condition to be checked is 2 less than or equal to new n which is 4 divided by 2 so 2 is less than or equal to 2 which is a true condition so program controller will move inside of for loop and this condition will be checked the condition is new n which is 4 modulus i which is 2 equal to equal to 0 which is true so flag will be set to 0 and because of this break compiler will come out of for loop and this condition will be checked so flag is holding 0 now so this condition is false hence 4 will not be printed and after that new n will be incremented and it will become 5 so new n is less than or equal to 5 which was the initial number given by the user so condition is still true flag is again initialized to 1 and then in the second for loop condition will be checked as new n which is 5 less than 2 that is equal to 2 because these both are integers so output will be integer technically the division is 2.5 but compiler will consider 2 as the output so condition will be checked as 2 which is i less than or equal to 2 so we are talking about this condition 2 less than or equal to new n which is 5 divided by 2 so condition is evaluated to 2 less than or equal to 2 which is the true condition inside of second for loop compiler will check whether new n which is 5 divisible by 2 which is false so this part will not be executed and after that i will be incremented to 3 so this condition 
addition will be false because 3 less than or equal to new and divided by 2 that is 2 so 3 less than or equal to 2 is false condition hence this for loop will be skipped also finally new n will be incremented to 6 and because condition will be checked as 6 less than or equal to 5 which is a false condition hence this for loop will also get completed and after that your program will end